In this video, we're going to do a basic overview of Articulate Engage, and then we'll mimic the uh, what we did in the workshop. So first thing I'll point out is if you're just getting started, uh, we have these starter videos. I'd recommend watching those. I find that a lot of times people will jump into the community and they'll ask some questions. A lot of the basic questions are answered if you watch the video. So if you are getting started, this is a good place to go. Uh, it'll, it'll give you some context and probably save you some time. We're going to go ahead and create a new interaction. So let's click on New Interaction. That's going to take us to this window here where we can select from a number of interaction types. Now Articulate Engage comes with 20 interaction types, which you can see here. And basically, Engage is a form-based tool. So what that means is the software is built to do something specific, so you don't have to do any development. So you're going to get a look and interactivity and all of that. And then all you have to do is add your content. So there's a form, you add your content, you hit Publish, and the software does everything else. So you can see I've got a number of specific forms to choose from. In this case, we're going to choose the, uh, the accordion interaction. And what that's going to do is open up the form. So regardless of the interaction that you choose, the layout here is essentially the same. So if you know how to build one interaction, you'll know how to build all of the other interactions. So what do we have here? So we've got uh, the ability to add a title for the interaction. Uh, you can see here we have a steps panel. Now in this case, we're using the accordion interaction. So the accordion is based on sliding panels. Uh, you may use a process interaction where it might be steps or uh, if it's a timeline interaction, uh, they may be called something different. But essentially the steps that are unique to that interaction are going to be here. Uh, and then you can add a title for that particular step or panel. Uh, you can add text in here. If you want to record or import audio, you can do that over here on the right side. And then you can add media. As you can see, you can add pictures. We have some built-in characters videos, and then flash files. Uh, let's go ahead and preview what uh, the accordion interaction looks like before we start working on it, just so, so you can see just how much uh, Articulate Engage, Engage does for you. So we're going to go ahead and preview this. And you'll notice it already looks great without having any content in there. So you may just want to stop right there. <laughs> now, but what we can do is we can add some content in here. So uh, you can see how the sliders work. So these are sliding accordion panels. So let's go ahead and just add some content. We'll select a new panel. If you want to delete a panel or add a panel, you can do that up here. You can also change the order of the panels here. We're just going to work on one of them because they basically do the same thing. So let's go ahead and add a new title. We'll just call this uh, panel one from Tom just so we can see that the title's changed. I'm going to add some placeholder text in here. If I type in equal and then lorem and parentheses, I'm just going to do uh, two paragraphs with two sentences each. You can see it creates some placeholder text for me. If I wanted to, I could record audio. I just hit the record button. In this case, we're going to stick with what we have. And then I'm going to uh, insert something. We'll just insert a character here. We've got these illustrated characters. I'm just going to choose what we have. Click on insert. You can see I can change the position. I'm going to, I'll just put her on the right. So it looks like she's looking at the text and we'll just keep everything else by default. So let's see what we did. We'll preview this step and you can see uh, here's the character we inserted. Here's the title. Here's the panel. And then we would just continue and add more to that. Now, if I want to edit this, all I have to do is close the preview. And then I can come in here and edit it. So let's say I, I want to choose this text here. And I want to put cartoony text on there. So I can have this kind of action man text, maybe make it a little larger. Um, I may want to change her position. So let me see. I'm going to delete her. And let me insert her a uh, different way. So we'll have her switch over, put her on the right side instead. Uh, we'll move it to the right. We'll keep it automatic size. And let's go ahead and preview this and see uh, what we did. You can see I should have put her on the left. So let me edit that again. Let's put her on the left. 
now we can preview and that shows you how easy it is uh, to work with Engage. So Engage is a really simple tool to work with. It's a form. All you have to do is select the interaction you want and then add your content to the form. And again, you can add text, you can record or insert audio, or you can add different types of media. So that could be video, pictures, uh, and flash files.